The day was Good Friday, April 6, 2012, a day dedicated to the remembrance of the ultimate sacrifice made by Jesus Christ. World over, his ancient pilgrimage is still celebrated today as it was hundreds of years ago. But at the center of Norris Square, the celebration goes differently. Reverend Adam, pastor of the West Kensington Ministry at Norris Square, has found his own way of illustrating the event. Through the eyes of these artists and through their words, we, uh, we expect for you to somehow see the story, feel the story, hear the story in a, in a, in a different way. On this day of congregation, he has garnished some of the many spiritually active artists within the community and rallied them to create and exhibit their artistic interpretations of the 13 stations of the cross. Well, this is the third station, which is indicative of the first fall of Christ. And the reason why he chose that and the original location outside was where a teenager was shot and killed mere weeks before the event. And he felt that it was very reflective of the falling of our youth to gun and drug violence and gang violence in this neighborhood. So he felt as a teenager himself that burden which, you know, Christ was carrying this weight on his back and he fell, but he got back up. And so he felt that that was a reflection of our youth having to get back up past the struggle of all the violence and the, and the killings. In doing so, Adan has not only touched base with the neighborhood artists, but has encouraged the regular members of the church to connect with the day in a new way. I am here at the fourth station of the cross, which is Jesus Sees His Mother. And I'm here with a book of poetry that was written by my grandmother. In this book, there are several poems of motherhood, by mothers, uh, about mothers, and uh, that's what I'm sharing in, in this particular station of the cross where Jesus sees his mother and he's rather uh, I think he's both sad and happy. He's happy to see her there because this is a person that's nurtured him for through a lifetime mm -hmm. and he's sad because he knows that she's seeing him at, at a very terrible time and that she's going to be witnessing his death. This it event has persisted for four years, years now bringing a great sense of intergenerational diversity. Many new perspectives raised by different ethnic groups meet to complement each other. Uh, this is an honor. This is the second time this has been shown here. I had this up for the first time four years ago. I am a deep believer in recycling, so I feel very good about this. It's to show the two different sides of people, the love side and the hate side. The hate side is spewing out death to Jesus. Jesus, who is the love side, is accepting death, literally reaching out his tongue to accept it. But this year's gathering was especially inspirational. Pieces from some of the younger members who had many words to say about their faith touched many people's hearts. The title of this piece is The Shirt Off My Back. It is for station number 10, Jesus Stripped of His Garments. And I was thinking about the phrase, the shirt off my back, uh, as, as kind of the ultimate sacrifice we humans would normally do, you know, to give someone that much. And, you know, it's, it's nothing in comparison to Jesus giving up his life for us. As always, Reverend Adam continues to find new, innovative ways to follow the faith. The community of the church is one that is constantly evolving, full of open-minded people backed by many different upbringings. This challenging audience offers Adam a chance to express his vision of the faith while encouraging the people of the church to do the same, creating an atmosphere around the church full of life and creativity.